Whitney from Birdhouse, and I'm here with this holy rodeo. Hi, Whitney! Hi, guys. <laughs> um, so I'm very curious about the band name, this holy rodeo, um, and if it has any ties to religion or anything like that. Could you tell me a little bit about that? For sure. We're not a Christian rock band, contrary to popular belief. That is not mostly yet. what we listen to, though. Absolutely. Yeah, Christian rock. Inspired yes. by. Yes. The name of the band came from a poem by the Persian poet Hafiz, a 14th century poet who famously would wander around Persian gardens and, like, ramble poetry. Mm -hmm. Some of the most beautiful things I've ever read. Uh, he says the phrase, an outrageous holy rodeo begins, um, as a way of sort of talking like some... Uh, heavenly merriment and I felt that that would be a wonderful phrase to co-opt for a band especially because we needed a new band name and after a little bit of nudging we uh, we went for it yeah all the other band names we came up with weren't good either that was another thing pretty bad names yeah they're pretty bad one of them was called Chris Band yeah, yeah. there that was, was actually at a point we considered the name Walter just Walter <laughs> with a period at the end I kind of wish we went with that one low key but you know. yeah I agree so your live shows are very uh, high energy and very performative. Um, can you tell me a bit about um, the actual theatrics of your performances and if that's like a live thing or if that carries into your recorded music as well? I would definitely say it carries into the, into the recorded music for sure. I mean, at least I'm a wacky fella in the way I write and I like to really push the envelope in what I can do. So I like to make the recording a different experience, but equally theatrical and bombastic. And then live, one of the things that Guy and I set out to do when we were designing our stage show was to not be boring uh, and try to like push the boundaries of what you know people, at least in our area, were doing. Not necessarily that we uh, reinvented the wheel here or anything, but we felt like we were doing something a little unique and fun. But the whole thing is to just sort of like put a whole lot of effort in to give people a show that's like super memorable so that every time they leave they're like that was the craziest basement show i've ever seen in my life even if they don't think it's good even if they're like that was horrible but it was crazy i remember one of my friends said i have never left a basement show with an onion in my hand <laughs> and that was because we brought onions and threw them at people yeah well, we handed them out Sure. After they, we, after they, you won't ask get thrown. Else. An onion will not be thrown at you if you come to this holy rodeo concert. Not anymore. It might no. be thrown at me. <laughs> I, well, we're I, not doing that retired. bit anymore. And, and I think too, like the worst thing we could do with like the kind of music that we have is like approach it like we're higher and mightier, or like oh look at how cool we are. Nah, because we're a bunch of dorks. <laughs> yeah. And uh, whoa, oh. did you just agree to that? <laughs> I mean, oh, my. whoa, <laughs> I'm walking. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> look at it, your it, outfit, it is, Chris. It is really all about <laughs> just like having as much fun as we possibly can. And the music's really intricate, but like a lot of the stuff that we do on stage, sometimes we'll plan it like right before the show because it'll just be like, it would be hilarious if we did this, yes. you know. Yeah. So it's a lot of that. Yeah, half of our bids happen like right before the show. Is <laughs> or even yeah. during. There's a lot of improv. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. absolutely. And, and it's never the same. Even though like we've been keeping the set similar, it's, it's always sort of evolving and adapting. And uh, one of the cool things I like to do is I write a new poem every show. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's terrifying. And like, <laughs> I make myself do it the day of the show. And it really makes me want to die a lot of the time. But I do it anyway. <laughs> and, and sometimes like... I'll, I'll be like, 10 minutes before I said, I'll be like, hey, where is Chris? 
and like he will literally just be writing that poem and like <laughs> when he's on stage saying them like none of us have heard it yet like none of us mm -hmm. know what it is our reactions are genuine yeah, yeah. you don't even know the one i'm about to read tonight i don't no, know no. excited though It is typical rodeo tradition that we read from our favorite book. And uh, I shall do that now. Are we ready? And. <laughs> An ode to the twanging inbred anthems of the military industrial complex. They play a tune that can only be described as Mountain Dew the musical. The money is good, the optics even better. But instead, you have us. It is with great pleasure that I may introduce you to this bizarre and unyieldingly barbaric rodeo, fronted by an increasingly exhausted young man who blusters on and on, waking up alone and often, charismatic as a hungry rodent. And though I am more or less godless, sometimes I am kind. I will never give up. I choose to live a lie and no longer be saved by the cliche advice I gave that you'd find in movies. And what's worse is that I no longer imagine my body safe from the same disease that has killed my mother. But by God, I won't be terrified or miserable even if it happens. Because I am made of the same machine that kept her alive. In grand submission, I give up. Dwight D. Eisenhower. 
These tomahawk missiles sure are ruining the baby shower. And as they say it, Samba real silky. Um, I don't know if anyone's noticed, but Mario is dressed like a pirate. Um, what? Yeah. What? yeah. What's that uh, all about? I mean, they don't, they don't kinda, really talk about it too much, but... He kind of prefers we don't, actually. Well, we don't yeah. So it. it's kind of awkward that yeah. you brought it up. Um, I'm a swashbuckler, and like... That's the like, preferred nomenclature. Kind of forcing me to live in the city right now so that we can do all this I'm like sorry. music stuff. No, thank and thank you for saying yeah. that. But eventually I'll get back into it. I'll get back into the seas, you know, start pillaging, fucking up the East India Trading Company, you know, mm, yeah. and all that yeah. stuff. He Someone does not, not like the East you. India Trading Company. Don't get him yeah. started. I don't think anyone yeah. does. Yeah. Fuck those guys. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for bringing that up, though. Yeah. Oh yeah, like, absolutely. These guys never really mention it. I'm sorry. It's out of here. Yeah. Um, so what are your aspirations besides music? What do you look to? Like pirate stuff. Oh, yeah. of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying besides to play that. in the NHL. I really love hockey. I want to be a goalie. It's tough because I'm five foot three, but mm -hmm. we'll see what happens. I'm just waiting for the technology to, to advance enough so that they can turn me into a penguin. I'm, I'm just trying to <laughs> grow the, the hydroponically perfect strawberry. Oh, oh absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it has to be like the size of a basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's yeah. going to take me a while. I'd love uh, to see that. You've, you've brought in your, your um, prototypes, though. Yeah. And they're, uh, they're, they're kind of insane. They yeah, taste they're, they're like solid. shit, but... They don't um, taste good at all. I'm not they going look for awesome. taste, I'm going for They've size, got them so. up yeah. to the size of, like, yeah. baseballs, so not quite basketball size okay, yet, but they're working towards it. Yeah. When, uh, when we have hockey practice, um, they'll shoot them at me when I'm playing goalie. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right at the teeth, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, uh, but it's okay because it's a strong... And I'm working on uh, a military takeover of Antarctica so that I can mm. become the king. Oh, okay. Yeah. What are your aspirations as king? Well, we'll get there when we get there. Yeah. I see. Yeah. That I one's see. interesting, too, because once Guy becomes a penguin, he can, like, collaborate with 
yeah, yeah, Chris. Yeah. Or else Earl be a subservient. Well, that, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. plan because yeah, I refuse to leave Chris's side. Yeah. yeah. I just I'm basically glued to him. Yeah. I sweep in his backyard yes. right now. Actually. Penguin Queen. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the penguins sweep outside. Exactly. Yeah. It's further penguin practice. I leave some newspaper for him to do his business, and it's, mm-hmm. it's a good time. Yeah. I that's always good. miss the newspaper. Yeah. I'm not potty trained yet. I say? He gets too distracted by the Sunday funnies, and then like you know, yeah, he's already. I love himself. that Marmaduke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. How do they keep coming up with it? It's crazy. <laughs> well, thank you guys. Um, do you have anything to uh, plug or anything like that? Buy a, shirt, buy a shirt. Buy a shirt. Buy a shirt. Buy a shirt. Buy a okay. shirt. Please uh, buy a shirt. Stream dig. Please on any platform. Follow us if you like how stupid we are, because on social media we're. Maybe even more stupid. This is yeah. Yeah, this is toning yeah, this it is down. Toned down. This is this is so. <laughs> we're playing it so clean this. right now. <laughs> and, yeah. yeah. Um, Genuinely though, follow our Instagram page at this holy rodeo. Um, and thank you, Birdhouse, for having us. Thank you. Yeah. Birdhouse. Thank you, Birdhouse. And thank you, Whitney. Thank you, Whitney. Thank you, everyone. Stupidness. Thank you, Whitney. <laughs> You're very welcome. Thanks so much for joining me. And this was. Birdhouse. Woo! Birdhouse. 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 Tweet, tweet. Let's go play some music. Spires with industrial home seedlings flourish in their TV. Just lacerate me, hook me up on Ivy, gently move me away. You could just lacerate me, hook me up on Ivy, gently move me away. We know the comments come.
said to me, Our compassionate killer kills their survivor. And so I bought a gun, cause this life will go on, even if I take another.
Alright, Mario is stuck in a time loop, and this uh, happens every once in a while to him for some reason, I'm not really sure, uh, but the doctor told us if we tell him uh, to go to like, his happy place, then things will be okay. So Mario, can you hear me, buddy? Are you there? Can you hear me? He can hear me, okay. Mario, I need you to go to your happy place. Imagine uh, the open sea, and it's a schooner, a big vessel, with a big mermaid with clams over her hoo-ha, um, and big fish tail. And she's in the front, and you're tr going through the sea, and then, what's that? Land ho! And you get on the land, and there's uh, police officers everywhere, and they, they want to arrest you for pl plunger, p you know, like that? No? No, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Back on the, back on the, back on the, back on the boat. You've got scurvy. You've got no vitamin C. A beautiful schooner on the vast sea. And you're the captain. Captain Mario. Yeah, you're gonna be okay, right, bud? Yeah, he's good, he's good, we got it. Okay, got we it. got it. 